Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing this lovely Monday morn afternoon? Uh, been listening to some Guilt Machine here. If you don't know, this is like an off sh- offshoot project of uh, Aryan Lucasen, the dude behind uh, Arion. So, one of my one, one of my favorite uh, musicians. Uh, haven't really listened to this album in like ten years since it came out, but it turns out it's a fucking bop. So I got into it again recently. Um, I was going to start the stream with the theme from Tristram uh, from Diablo 1 because uh, the person that we're talking about today is indeed the composer of Diablo and like Diablo 2 and fucking Starcraft and a bunch of fucking games. Uh, I decided I, I didn't want to do that uh, because... It, it, I, I was feeling such a weird mix of emotions. I have to admit, if this man's watching this, Matt, you are you are a fantastic composer, right? I have to at least give you that. You might be an absolute kook, <laughs> but you're a very good composer, and it was giving me very mixed emotions because after what I had been going through this morning with him on Twitter, I heard this song from Tristram, and I forgot how nice that song was. And, uh, yeah, it was fucking me up, man, so I had to play something else, and I, you know, I'll probably get copyright claimed for it, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so this morning, I was, uh, you know, as I say, minding my business on, on my Twitter, eating my curds and whey, and somebody messaged me, and they said that they had talked to, uh, Matt, uh, I don't know how to say his last name, Matt Uelman? Uelman? I don't know how to say it, but, uh... They said that he talked. They he talked to him on Twitter, and he was sent some sort of insane, hateful like message. Um, and I looked it up. I looked up the guy's name, and he said that it was the composer of Diablo Three. So two things. Uh, well, three things. One, thank you to this person for mentioning all this to me. Two. Uh, it wasn't you, actually, who talked to the guy, so I'm not r- really sure why you pretended that it was you. It was actually Neon Taster on Twitter. Um, and three, uh, it, he actually didn't compose for Diablo 3. He he composed for the first two and a bunch of other early Blizzard games. He composed for the fucking Justice League fighting game that they did on the Super Nintendo, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, long history to this guy. A lot of you may not know this, but I'm a big, like, music, like, game composer fan. Um, I personally have never heard of this guy, uh, not to say that that, you know, that he's not a a popular, uh, or, you know, that he's not made good stuff. I just don't play a lot of Blizzard games. Uh, I've played a a decent amount of Diablo in the past, but, you know, nothing that, that heavy. But yeah, I've never really heard of this guy. And so when somebody mentioned to me that this guy was, like, threatening people on Twitter and shit, I had a bit of a fucking think, and I went and looked after it, and yeah... Apparently, he's got one of these Twitter accounts where he just nonstop, like, responds to political, like, shit posting. It's just politi- it's like Movie Bob, but the, the game composer edition. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, and, and he said something about wearing someone's skin or some, some shit, I don't know, but, um, yeah. So, I, I made a tweet about it, and I'll show it in a, in a sec here, but to give you the quick rundown, I gave, I made a tweet about it, and I just said that, you know, uh, this guy's the perfect, he's like the perfect example of somebody who's like Trump derangement syndrome. I don't really use that term often because that's a bit of a loaded term. There's a lot of certain types of people that, uh, you know, say certain types of things. But, uh, I, I think that this is a perfect example of that. This guy went from being a very respected composer to just some fucking weirdo political shit poster boomer on Twitter. And I don't know, man. It's like, this is what it does to some people, I guess. 2016 hit some people really hard. But, uh, yeah, so he, he just he just talks about Trump endlessly. I think he said something about Trump causing the pandemic. So, I mean, that's interesting. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I said something about how it, it led to him, like, randomly harassing people in DMs. Within, like, two minutes... He was in my DMs ask, demanding my name and then, like, looking up my fucking old videos and, and shit and, like, calling me a shitty composer or something. Um, which, I mean, I I mean, I mean, am a composer. I, uh, I think I'm a pretty good one uh, in my estimation. But, uh, you know, that's, that's fine. That's opinions. 
<laughs> but yeah, so this kind of unfolded from there and he kept tweeting at me and other people kept tweeting at him. It honestly reminded me a lot of a video that I just saw yesterday from Danny uh, Gonzalez, his side channel. This is, that's his side channel where he posts side content, not his main channel. Um, in case you were confused, that's his side channel. But yeah, he did this video about getting slapped by legal from this crazy, like, radio station boomer lady that he made a video about. And she just did not fucking fundamentally understand the concept of fair use. And it was almost like that, but in a different context. So we're gonna get into this here. Um, I'm gonna be... Yeah, let's... Hang on. Drop the fair use fuzo here. Uh find the thing. Now I should probably start with... Okay, that's... Th this is... Okay, now I should probably start with his Twitter, but before I get to that, let me just... Matt Wellman. And if we look him up on Wikipedia, let's let's see what, see what it has to say. Let me just... Let me just stop the music. Once again, that was a band called Guilt Machine. I highly, uh, highly endorse checking them out. And by extension, I highly endorse checking out Arion and uh, the rest of Arian Lucasen's work, if you can figure out how to pronounce any of those things I just said. Um, so this is Matt Wellman, and uh, he is, as it says, American video game com uh, music composer and sound designer, best known for his work in Blizzard Entertainment's Diablo series, which was recognized with the inaugural Excellence in Audio Award by the IGDA in 2001, blah, 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 blah. He worked with Runic Games on Torchlight. So, you know, got got a legacy here. I don't mean to, uh, I don't mean to besmir besmirch this man's standing, at least in the past. I, I will, I will go so far as to say he's, he's making a, a fucking ass of himself now. But, uh, oh yeah, I guess I should say he started fucking deleting everything on Twitter. So I don't know how much of this we're going to get to see, but we'll at least get to see the responses to it. So that'll be pretty fun. You'll, you'll have to kind of take my word for it a little bit. I, maybe there's some archives or something. Apparently he said something about not wanting to bully people who are disabled. Somebody mentioned that I'm disabled as like a joke. And, and he was like, I don't want to bully people who are disabled, but he's anonymous. So it's fine. He has this weird thing about like anonymity on Twitter. He's one of these people that's like, give me your name, coward. And then he immediately threatens to like go to your employer and shit. And it's like, oh shit, I wonder why I don't have my name plastered on my Twitter. I, I, I can't imagine why. But anyways, yeah, you know, he worked with Blizzard and uh, probably he stopped working with them eventually. Somebody said that it was the that he was the composer of, of uh, Diablo 3, but apparently that's that's not accurate. He did Diablo 1, 2, the, the expansion. Apparently he was working on the scrapped Diablo 3, that's what I heard. Um, Wor World of Warcraft Burning Crusade, I know uh, Bear in our Discord, different Bear other than me, uh, she, she's very, she's in, she's infuriated because uh, she's actually like grown up with a lot of this guy's like works and yeah, I mean, it's weird, it's, it's weird, never, never meet your heroes, I guess. So, well, I mean, I guess before we get into his Twitter, actually, we should probably cover, we should probably talk about, uh... All right, let me get to my Twitter actually. Let's 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 do this. So, um come on, you f I god, I fucking hate this I fucking hate this program. There you go. Um so this is me on Twitter. Th this is me, the penguin of doom, and I'm talking about some people that are like simping for fucking Fortnite and Epic Games. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but that was pretty pathetic. And then, um, you know, I, I post the Final Fantasy VII Remake theme song because I was being, like, emo last night. Uh, and also, that's a really good theme song. But, you know, then, like... Oh. Oh, yeah, then this happened. This fucking tweet with nearly 8,000 likes uh, where somebody asks, the what is the age of consent for an animal? So, thank you, uh, okay, new guy. And welcome back, our old friend Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> if you remember the stream from a few days ago, we talked about him. But yeah, this this tweet from Suspect Tweets with like a bunch of likes. But uh, yeah, um, so 
So, so again, somebody linked me to all this this morning, and I looked it up, and it's from this tweet from Neon Taster here. This guy who wrote the music for Diablo sits around at night fantasizing about me alive with my skin removed because he's clearly a well-adjusted individual. Maybe he was mad that I insulted Tencent. And the, the, the DM, next time you hear my music, try to remember how much I hate you and how personal that hatred is. When you see Tris, when you hear Tristram, think, oh, that's that beloved composer. He'd rather see me without my skin. Alive. Okay? Get that open again. Uh, so there, there you go, chat. <laughs> um, I guess it's fitting for the composer for Diablo. I mean, there you go. That's some very crawling in my skin shit. I don't know. But I think a lot of us in chat can agree that Tristram and by extension the rest of Diablo's music has been kind of ruined for us forever. And I didn't see this before, but if we keep going th here through the, th the thread, he thinks pretty highly of himself, says Neon Taster. I see Ramsey Bolton is awake and tweeting now. <laughs> oh, he's extremely mad in my DMs. He's still going. And what do we got here? It didn't matter who non-purple states voted for four years ago. In any case, you'll be a lying, reframing, gaslighting POS. In any case, no matter what the real history... This guy's going off like it's a fucking... This is like a, tr a, a stream of consciousness. This is just word vomit. I'm sure this is true in your personal life as well. Uh, and he's like giving him stuff about like... Kaylee McEnany, I think. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> this man is fucking mental. This is insane. <laughs> so, okay. So that's his experience with this guy, with Neon Taster. Uh, and yeah, so I tweeted about this. I said, what the fuck is the composer from Diablo 3 going fucking ham on Twitter? Oh, why is the composer? Somebody give grandpa his pills. And then I found a tweet from him where he says, why would anybody vote for Donald J. Trump if they didn't want to destroy the country? That makes no sense. And this is just one of like a billion of this man's tweets that are basically exactly like this. And so I, I, I said, ladies and gentlemen, this man once composed music for AAA games. Trump derangement syndrome has degenerated his mind to the point where his entire existence is an attempt to spout gotchas at some fat orange fuck on Twitter and harass randos in DMs because of disagreements. Sad! Now, I guess I should say now, I'm not like a Trump guy. I, I don't know, man. I don't. I, I think. I think they're they're all a bunch. I think Red Letter Media said it best when they said, "I can't believe insert criminal's name here won the 2016 election." That's that's where I fall on the spectrum. But uh, but but yeah. Um, this is still like it, it, this is noticeable. Like there are some people that you have to admit got a little too fucking touched about the Trump thing. E even if you don't like him, I don't like him particularly. We're not going to get into all that because. Really, this has nothing to do with politics, in my opinion. This is just a man having a fucking meltdown. Um, and so somebody did some fan art here. Very nice. Stoned bear. I like it. Thank you, Vintage Coyote. Uh, and then I say, I love when some crazy fucker on Twitter starts criticizing people for staying anonymous, then immediately tries to dox them and out their identity as Alvin Flang to the world. Frowny face. The secret is out, guys. So what, what does this mean? Well, where are the pictures? Where, where, where are the logs? Where are the pictures? Um, let me see. So this is the first one. Where he says... What's your name, kid? You know mine. What's yours? And I just say, are you high? And then he finds, like, my one of my oldest videos on my channel for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why he found the oldest video on my channel, but okay. This is you? I could ingest 500 milligrams of weed and a few other drugs and still be 10 times the mus musician you are, kid. So what name goes with your non-talent and vanilla face? And then he keeps fucking typing. <laughs> I've got a vanilla face, everybody. I've got no talent and a vanilla face. He's gonna ingest the, the weed needles, everybody. He's gonna, he's gonna directly in, inject the marijuana suppositories into his, into his, his cock vein. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. And then the next set of DMs, and I'm, we're gonna have a fresh reaction to whatever he's, he's gone off about next. I'm sure he's got plenty more for me, but, uh, but Il Ilman too. And, uh, I, I just say, my name is Alvin Flang. 
On an unrelated note, remember when you had a career? Funny you think that's a dig. By the way, Flang Gang. Hashtag Flang Gang. Represent. Uh, funny you think that's a dig when I've had two orchestral sessions on this project and steadily worked uh, uh, for 27 years now. I'm, uh, 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 and then I say, well, I'll be sure to give you some much needed publicity on my stream later in front of 3000 viewers. You handle yourself so professionally. I'm not surprised you're so successful. So, um, yeah, again, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, um, very, very, uh, secure individual. Uh, he's a, he's a beloved composer, everybody. So he's very secure in that fact. Doesn't need to be reminded of that at all. So, uh, love on a leash stan account. Yes. Uh, may, and then he's been deleting a bunch of tweets. I thought that he blocked me. I don't think he blocked me, but he's been deleting a bunch of fucking tweets. May, and, and so I can't really show a lot of this, sadly, but we can at least get some of the responses. Matey, you DM'd me demanding my name and then finding my old videos and threatening me. The only person poorly attempting to intimidate people here is you. You just picked a bad person to try it with. And then he says something about me being a non-person because I wouldn't share my name or something. And I, I, I don't know what the fuck. I guess he's trying to dehumanize me. He must be a Nazi. Oh, yes, if only I had my name on my Twitter, then I could strive to be an adult like you who randomly harasses people because of Twitter disagreements. Where's your picture, Matt? I use mine. Where's yours? He doesn't have a picture on his profile. That's weird. He's mu He must not be a person, everybody. He's a robot. He's a, he's a robot. And then Dumb Dion just says, the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> and I love this tweet. I, you know what? You know what? Let me just re-like re it. Undo retweet. Oh, fuck. Well, there it goes. But I, I, <laughs> I was going to redo the retweet, but fuck it. Anyways, sorry, the, the sentiment was there. But as you can see, a bunch of these tweets are gone. Uh, stuck in 20. So he keeps he, he kept going off about Gamergate. And I'm not sure how he figured out that I was like involved in fucking like calling Randy Harper fat five years ago. But I mean, I guess he go off, sis. He found out that I maybe he just guessed. I don't know. I mean, he's right. I did call Randy Harper fat for a couple years on Twitter back then uh, for ethics. And uh, yeah, he just keeps going off about fucking Gamergate. And he, he said that we're stuck in 2014. And I said, you're the only one talking about it right now in 2020. Do you even know where you are? What year is it? How many fingers am I holding up? And somebody posts his picture and says, don't dead open inside. <laughs> <laughs> the man looks I don't mean to be this isn't a bully stream because I'm just informing you of the news but the man looks like Fido Xavier just gave up and nobody's gonna get that reference but me but you know <laughs> it's fine and I just I, I don't know if anybody remembers the old V like anon at a party memes I'm tired my feet hurt I wish I could go home and clean up after my wife finishes with Jamal this party sucks and that's what these eyes, the, these, this thousand yard stare eyes, this is, <laughs> this is the man. I think he's injected a little more than 500 MG of the weed needles. But anyways, um, so then a, but he starts blocking a bunch of fucking people. He starts blocking like everybody, even if they never interacted with him. I think he started mass blocking everybody who fucking liked the tweet that I made. The, the initial tweet that I made call, uh, in, in response to him. And, uh, so he just started fucking randomly blocking everybody. <laughs> and I said, so you're not, when you're not, when you're so not mad that you block everyone you interact with, that's the, that's the, 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 the mark of real not madness, uh, madness in truly every sense of the word. And then I forget what this is, this tweet was exactly. Again, it's, he's, he's deleted fucking everything. He DFA'd, uh, because of uh, obvious reasons. Cause eventually he took his fucking crazy pills and he realized that he was being an absolute fucking mong. But, uh, whatever he said, I responded, you already tried to fucking dox me because you got mad at a tweet. You are the absolute perfect example of why people don't like putting their name out there. Oh yeah, it's, th he kept going off about this anonymity thing about, he, he keeps like fucking driving that home, this shit about like, well, you need to have a name attached to your Twitter so that you can back up the things that you say, which really just means so that if you ever disagree with me, I can like 
call your employers and shit, which is the exact reason that anonymity on the internet exists. So thank you for proving everybody's point, Matt, you absolute fucking punts. Uh, go back to being a beloved composer if you're so important and quit bothering me. And sadly, he continues to bother me. As far as I could tell, the last time I checked my mentions, uh, my, my, my notifications, there was a, a message from somebody named like uh, um, Moko or something like that. I forget their name. But so somebody w said something like, dude, this is weird. And within like three seconds, he had responded to them and said, did I, what did I do to hurt you? So this man is clearly very busy composing for his next big project, as we can all tell. Um, love how his profile says he was born in 1903, yet he criticizes others for not having real identifying mar information on their profiles. What a loon. Yeah, I mean... By the same exact metric, like, my name is on the internet. You can find it on my Patreon. Link in the description. Actually, I don't think the link is in the description. But, uh, you know, you can find it on my Patreon. And uh, in the same fashion, he made this comment about how, like, well, my picture's been on my Wikipedia bio for years when I said, where's your picture, Matt? Because, again, his... His Twitter avatar thing is not his picture. It's like music notes or something. And I'm like, where the fuck's your picture, picture, Matt? If you're so, you know, if it's so important to you that you, you know, remain anonymous or whatever, um, or that that people don't remain anonymous rather. And he said, well, it's on my Wikipedia. It's like, yeah, and my name is on my fucking Patreon, and my picture is on my Twitter. We're in, we're like, we're, we're I'm the yin to your yang. Why are you yelling at me, you crazy motherfucker? Uh, I was 11. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. This was great. I think he removed some of the tweets, but... Okay, he didn't remove every tweet. That's weird. It's like he stands by some of them, so I don't know what that's about. But uh, you took a rhetorical question, which you didn't address, and used that to frame me as a TDS type for your post-Gamergate Anon followers. And I don't know what that rhetorical question... I guess what my name was. I don't think that's a... I don't think that was a rhetorical question when you started posting my old fucking videos and harassing me and shit in my DMs, dude. I could I could seriously report you for that, but I'm not a bitch, so I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, but then somebody says, I would sincerely like to know... Sorry. I would sincerely like to ask what makes you think his followers care about GG at all. It's 2020, man. And then he said some weird shit, and sh and this person said, I was 11 in 2014. I did not remotely care about GG. And he says, yet it was still formative upon you. The TV I watched at 11, the most formative on me. I was 11 and didn't give a shit about some hashtag. Bro, it was probably formative for you. It shaped you probably. Serious question. What is actually wrong with you? <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Very cool. And yeah, I don't know what the fuck. I guess he's saying that if that was happening at the time that anybody in the world was like, like growing up, I guess that means that, that they were like uh, instantly affected by, ga I don't know. I guess, I guess there was just a, I guess generation Gamergate. I reckon we can get Trump to tweet about Gamergate. Uh, you know, uh, smug, smug chuckling. Hi everybody. I'm a beloved compo beloved composer for some reason. I'm busy arguing on Twitter. Like the 14 year olds I accuse people of being, that's a joke. Nobody would hire him to compose with the way he's acting. And, uh, then this guy sums it up pretty well and just says, dude, you're 47. <laughs> and let's just go take a look at my my mentions real quick and yeah this guy's still fucking going still fucking going imagine still talking about gamergate in 2020 stop the politics and go back to something you understand like music and uh yeah i mean the, the essence of Hegel's original point about the dialectic very system has re- Oh, fuck off, you pretentious fop. So let's take a look at this guy's Twitter. And again, he's, he's, he, DF, he DFA'd a lot of shit. A lot of the stuff that he had been tweeting about, he, he's removed because I guess he thinks that it's gone from the internet forever. I don't know. But, uh, you know. Yeah, he's just like going off about fucking the the all of us, the good, the bad, and the ugly go to the same place. And the the article's paywalled. Uh... And like, I mean, a lot of this is fine, but then a lot of it is just like crazy fucking just just ranting about fucking politics. Like nobody cares. 
Nobody cares. Shut up. It's like you're a fucking game composer. Shut the fuck up. Get off your fucking high horse about fucking politics. You're not some fucking CNN talking head. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Check the D. Fine. Fine. Fetch the... Okay. Okay, what what is this? Okay, we're getting twi we're getting some some spicy stuff from from Tristan. Let's uh, from Tristram, everybody. Uh, can you just link? Th oh, for fuck's sakes! Open the link. There you go. Open the link. So Tristan said, "You stupid! Haha! <laughs> you just got gamered. Your account would be better if you did everything in Mario speak. Like, oh no, you got the gamer sauce." Thank you so much for to playing my game. Uh, and we'll just open. What is the? Oh God! What is this? I'm truly sorry for the kids that grew up with GamerGate like yourself and got the impression that every developer can be intimidated by. I'm oh, sorry, intimated by uh, anon Nazi mobs. So apparently, I'm a Nazi. Everybody, welcome to the fucking show. I don't know. <laughs> I guess if you're a zoophile or this guy, I'm I'm on the I'm a, I'm a Nazi. All right then, uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, we're, we we I tried to intimate him. I guess uh, I don't think that's what happened. I think what happened was I made a tweet, and then fucking you came into my DMs and harassed me and started calling me a shitty composer and all this shit, like a fucking baby, because I made a tweet. <laughs> I think you were the one that... And then you fucking... Oh, yeah. There was one tweet that you deleted, my friend. There was one tweet that you fucking deleted where you, uh... Where you, like... Oh, God. I think I saved it. Did I save it? Oh, fuck. Did I save... I know I saved it. Did I... Is it Alvin Flang? I think it must be Alvin Flang. No. Did I not fucking save it? So there was the, the part where I said that my name was Alvin Flang, right? And, uh, he went and he searched up my name, Alvin Flang, and he tried to, like, gotcha me. I think I didn't, ah, uh, I didn't save it, God damn it. But yeah, he tried to fucking search up the name Alvin Flang, uh, and got, and, and, and there was no, there was no, uh, there was no results in his search for the name Alvin Flang in, like, the Game Composer database or something. And he was like, this is what nobody means. This is what I mean by you're a nobody. So he, he thought my, he actually thought my name was Alvin Flang, but that's okay. Um, actually, my, my, my name is actually Prince, and I, I'm, I transform into a dog at night. Uh, the, sorry to break it to you, but, but yeah, uh, then there's another one here from, there's another one here from Tristan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, yeah, thank you, Tristan, for finding some of these. Um, Jesus Christ, open original. You're not a person. You have no name. If you were a person, you'd act differently on Twitter. Instead, you're a semi-anon to go with being a semi-musician. Hang on a second. Uh, I, uh, hang on. H hang on. Hang on, I got the perfect thing for this. I got the perfect thing for this. Just you wait, chat. Just you wait. Just you wait. You're not a person. You have no name. If you were a person, you'd act differently on Twitter. Instead, you're a semi-anon to go with being a semi-musician. And, uh, we continue. And then, yeah. You kids grew up in 2014 and are seemingly stuck there. We're stuck in 2014, everybody. We're the ones that are stuck in 2014 right now. Uh, Deadwing's problem is that he's half-assed. You either have an IRL identity attached to IRL content, or you don't. I'm a real person, and respect those that present as such here in a different way. I'm real! I'm a real person! I'm American! I got hot blood running through my veins! And I'm angry! And I'm coming! Uh, so yeah. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, so, uh, apparently I, I'm, I'm half-assed, cause I, cause I, uh, 
I don't have an IRL. I... Brother, listen. You've got a thousand followers on Twitter and you make a routine fucking job of being making an ass of yourself. If I even think of the gamer word, if I even think of that word, I'm going to be in the news, motherfucker. Nobody cares about you. No offense. But there's eyes on me. If anybody's got to be held to account for anything. Oh, this is a this is some dumb shit, man. <laughs> I'm gonna say the gamer word, everybody. The word is epic. Anyways, so um, let me see here. Uh, oh, Tristan just dropped the gamer word. All right, that's good. Neville Landers got something. Uh, <sighs> apparently he doesn't like Bernie. I guess. I, I guess he doesn't like Bernie. I don't know. Um, so, um, but then I guess fucking. I guess fucking, uh, I, I guess fucking Meville Lander apparently does like Bernie, so, you know, fuck him. But anyways, no, I'm just kidding. Again, we don't judge people necessarily because of their politics, because uh, their politics here. We, we don't get into that shit. I just wanted to retweet that. Thank you, Zach, for linking it. But, uh, yeah, we, we don't, we don't really do that. Uh, so I don't know, man. That's, uh, that's some, some weird shit. I guess it's time to look at the DMs. Let's see what he's got to say. Sad. What has he got to say? What shitty nowheresville part of the- Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What shitty nowheresville part of the country are you in, Alvin Flang? I have a career because my work is good, and I'm honest with my co-workers and employers. Not because I'm nice to random punks like you. Look, three guitars that are better vintage pieces than you'll ever own. That's as close as you'll get to a real instrument. I'm trying to give you content to frame me as a classist dick, and you won't even take the bait. Sad. Well, apparently I'm sad, but, uh... Yeah, uh, I have two guitars and a keyboard worth, like, a thousand dollars sitting in front of me. So, I mean, you know, but go off, I guess. That's fine. They are nice guitars. I'm not really sure... Shut the fuck up, Shadow the Hedgehog music. I'm not, they are nice guitars, I guess, but I'm not really sure why this man's fucking dick is so small that he, like, he needs to, like, fucking jerk himself about his fucking guitars. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. <laughs> I have three guitars. Gee, Bill, why does your mom let you have three guitars? Um, chat, spam, gamer, read the DM requests, you fucking nerd. <laughs> Uh, I'll read the DM requests later, but uh, anyways, yeah, so, actually, I'll have a glance. Look at the damn chat, Boomer. Shut the fuck up, Zach. You're, you, Boomer, anyways. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how much more there is to say about that. That's just, I am so secure in my success that I need to show off my three guitars to strangers on the internet. <laughs> Whoa, three whole guitars? How is that relevant to the argument? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess he's got three guitars, so that really showed me. I don't know. I guess he was trying to give me bait to, to bait to like frame him as a classist. I I think hang on, because I think that last DM where he's like where, there's that last DM where he's like, I'm trying to give you content to frame me as a classist dick, and you won't even take the bait. Sad. I think this is the weirdo fucking, like, pretentious cunt equivalent, not a bully stream, of uh, of saying I, I'm, I was only pretending to be retarded. I think that's what that was. I think that's I was only pretending to be... I, I, I was only pretending to be retarded in boomer speak, so... Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Does he have a gaming PC? I know, we need to know more about this man's possessions so that we can judge his worth. I need to know how many instruments he owns, goddammit. How, how many woodwinds does he have in his house? How many spare reeds are there in his drawers? I need to know numbers. I want to know how many goddamn synth voices are on his goddamn keyboard, and I want to fucking compare it to mine. And I want to know how many goddamn Game Gear games he owns, because that, that is the make or break fucking element, fucker. Yeah, I don't know why he thinks that showing off his fucking guitars to people on the internet is like... I, I don't know why he thinks any of the things that he thinks, I don't know. But Matt, 
Like, if you're watching this, I, I don't know, man. Uh, go to fucking... Listen, you know what the Beatles did in the 60s or the 70s or whatever? They went to, like, India and they found a bunch of spiritual shit and, and stuff like that. Now's probably not the best time to go to India, but, uh, you know, you can, like... There's, like... Find, find yoga. Meditation. Try meditation. I don't know, man. You seem to have, like, some real serious, like, issues. Uh... Because you're fucking, I'm going to say a little unhinged. I'm going to say completely unhinged, but that's okay. You know, everybody's, everybody's got a story. So that'll pro probably about do it for the Gamergate caused COVID-19. Thank you. Thank you, chat member. Um, Yeah, that'll probably about do it for the, the, uh, the segment about this fellow. Uh, uh, but uh, let, let me let me read a couple super chats here, and uh, then we're gonna get into some more lovely stuff, including, but not limited to. Oh, geez, what the fuck? What was I gonna look at? Oh yeah, Randy Quaid. That's right. That's a perfect side piece to this. Okay, so we we've got we've got another segment coming in a little bit. We're gonna be looking at fucking Randy Quaid. Uh, a separate uh, th this is actually wonderful because randy quaid is is the opposite version of uh what's his name because randy quaid is a an actor formerly well-known beloved actor even if you will uh randy quaid is fucking crazy now and posts weird like far right vlogs on his twitter on, on his youtube where he like looks like he looks like fucking Father Time. So we're gonna look at Randy Quaid's fucking YouTube channel in a little bit. It's the perfect alt, alt piece to Matt Uelman, who went crazy fucking liberal. Uh, Randy Quaid went hard. Uh, he went hard R Republican. Let's just put it that way. Um, so let's get some music going here once again. Um, I think we were playing this one before. There you go. Good song. Um, let me see here. Five bucks from Ozark. Flang gang rise up. Remember, chat, we are all Alvin Flang here. Hashtag Flang gang. You, you can't imagine my, uh, oh god. I wonder if I can find it, actually. Hang on. I think I want to show you guys my fucking reaction to this. Yeah. Yeah. F uh, fucking, um, uh, uh, Brett. M Millioplact has the thing. Thank you, Brett, because I want to show everybody this. <laughs> exactly what right when I looked at the the general chat, I see this. This is what he sent me, trying to like gotcha me as I'm a nobody. He he looked up my name, Alvin Flang. <laughs> and he couldn't find anything, Chad. I don't know why. Why couldn't he find any anything under the name Alvin Flang, Chad? I don't know. He couldn't find me. <laughs> this was beautiful. This was the most wonderful thing. So thank you, Brett, for sharing that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to, just wanted to bring that into everybody's life. Um, Ten bucks from Trogdo. Hi, Claw. I'm sick and in quarantine, but I don't and I don't feel the best. But I'd like to thank you for the streams. They make this more bearable. Well, you know. Uh, it's, uh, uh, get better, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're not, hope you're not doing too badly there. Uh, do try to stay away from people, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, good, good luck in all, in all regards. So I hope you have a good stream. Uh, two bucks from Joe Vinny the Hyena. Man, Winnie the Pooh is gonna be mad at this. Now you're telling me. Five bucks from Daijobu. I thought I smelled a stream nearby. Adding, as seen on a Deadwing Dork stream to my resume. <laughs> anyway, have a have a drink on me, Clawfather. Well, you know, that's a wonderful thing to add to your resume because apparently I'm now hated by um, zoophiles. And I guess also, I don't know, Matt, do you really want to be, do you really want to be the, pe the guy that I had a Twitter beef with? Two days after the zoophile. Do you want to be the next guy that try? It's fine. It's fine. Um, two two euros from Suki Akiba. Hashtag blessed. Have some weed money. Love you, Claw Papa. Yeah, they were fucking closed yesterday. I was very pissed. I was very pissed. Apparently yesterday was fucking Easter, so that that was news to me. Uh, two bucks from Fart House. Ugandan Chungus Wholesome Keanu Shart House Poopy. Thank you. Very good. That's about as cohe that's about as coherent as anything that Matt has been tweeting today. 
Five bucks from the Helian Juggalo. Deadwing, if you're bored sometime, check out Goron in the Mud. A literal boomer lady who has a sexual thing for Gorons. Oh, she's got a sex thing for Gorons. This is a sex thing. Okay, that sounds exciting. Okay, this this is weird and exciting. Thank you for thank you for sharing. Two bucks from Kiri Golden or Ka Kyrie Ka Kyrie, if you want to be a Devil May Cry fan. Unironic uwu for your prosthetic limb, Fatherino. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, thank you. Uh, Four twenty from Max Smith. I love you, Claude Dad. Here's some pot money. Oh, thank you very much. Two bucks from Rio Hazuki. Dude, you should totally play Shenmue. It's great. Uh, I mean, it's not that great <laughs> from what I've seen. It's definitely ambitious, and it's certainly the precursor to Yakuza. Uh, by the way, I know I talk about Yakuza a lot, but... Has anybody else who's been playing FF7 Remake noticed how it's... At a lot of parts, it's basically a Yakuza game? Have you noticed that? It's... They took a lot from that series when they were doing the remake. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'll i probably get to Shenmue eventually. Uh, I, th I think I played the second one on the Xbox as a kid. And I got to the very first fight, and I just got annoyed and never played it again. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Five bucks from Dick Smite. Uh, probably not how to say that, but... I've uh, been listening to your live streams while playing Skyrim. I enjoy your commentary on the, uh, the snake things. Yeah, that'd be a great sitcom. The snake thing. Meet the snake things. That'd be a wonderful sitcom. It'd be, be a great sitcom to air after Heil, Honey, I'm Home. Five bucks from Cryptix. Hey, Papa Claw, it's my first stream, so I thought I'd show some love. Keep up the good stuff, my man. Smiley face. Well, thank you very much. Uh, keep keep up watching the streams, I guess. Unless you stop liking them, in which case you're, you're free to go. Uh, five bucks from Jessica Ustas. Any chance you can update your Jabroni music playlist? I need some different tunes to listen to when I draw. Thanks, Claw Poppy. Heart. I can probably add a couple new ones. There's, I definitely want to add the fucking uh, Final Fantasy VII remake theme. I think I'm going to end the stream on that today, because if you guys have not heard the theme song for the FF7 remake, it's like this 70s prog rock thing, and it's composed by Uematsu, so that's uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. It's probably the only fucking video game vocal track that I can stand to listen to, but... Um, well, no, no, the theme from... Uh, the English dub of the theme from Crystal Chronicles is also great. That's the that's the other one that I could stand to listen to. Um, two bucks from Coyote Lovely. They say creative people are the most disturbed. I mean, I guess. Five bucks from Zab. Who's your favorite game music composer? Thanks for your entertainment slash nightmare fuel. Um, favorite's a, a tough question. I only got into Uematsu a couple years ago, but I mean, he's obviously up there. There's a lot of people like... Um, there's a lot of people like, uh, oh god, what's his name? Uh, Motoi Sakuraba, the dude who does like all the Tales games and Star Ocean and Dark Souls and all of those. He, he has some pretty, he has some bangers. Um, in terms of like, I, mm, if, I, if I was like a few years ago, I probably would have said fucking uh, Grant Kirkhope. Uh, but I, I will shout, I, I, because I can't answer properly, I will shout out a couple people. Oh, Kenji Yamamoto, maybe? The dude who does the Metroid music? Yeah, I, you know what? I'll lock in that answer. Kenji Yamamoto. Uh, but also, uh, I want to shout out Jerry Martin, who did the Sims 1 soundtrack and SimCity 3004. A legendary game composer. Nobody knows who he is. Now, like, nobody fucking rem remembers him. It's really a shame. I, I, I stand Jer uh, 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 Jerry Martin, so... But big shout-outs to him as well. But, um... 100 rubles from Medicor Medicor's Lunicorn Archives, a composer for Blizzard game, also claims that Trump caused corona. Hmm, makes you think. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Not to be fair, he doesn't work for Blizzard anymore, so I mean, I don't know. I'm sure he'd he'd bend your fucking ear about about China for, you know, as long as as long as you want. Uh 2 bucks from the Eunuch man. Sliding into your DMs was just his way of flirting. <laughs> Five pounds from Armored Lemming. I don't want to bully a disabled person. That will make me look like a massive douchebag. But anyone else is fair game, though. What an absolute clown. Yeah, I mean, that that seems to be a, a, a common... And that seems to be pretty common perspective. Uh, two bucks. But me, I bully them even if they're, they are disabled. Because, I mean, everybody... Everybody deserves a little. I mean, not bully. I don't bully anybody. This isn't a bully stream. Two bucks from the eunuch man. Nothing is real or sacred anymore. Good God. 
Yeah, I mean, there goes fucking Diablo music, am I right? Uh, two bucks from uh, the Eunuch Man once again. Crawling in my skin! Five bucks from you, Ichigo. Hey, Claw, I just finished a good therapy sesh. Hope you're happy to see you're streaming. Strawberry heart emojis. Fire up the Kringus and smoke the dank kush. I'm out of the dank kush. I have to drink more, actually, now that you remind me. I started drinking, and then I just stopped because... Presumably, it was still the morning, but uh, then I realized that I'm a degenerate, and you know, fuck it, why not, right? Uh, <laughs> I hope you, I hope you have a good stream, you each go, and I, and I'm glad to hear that the, the sesh went well. Two bucks from the eunuch man. This has I graduated top of my class vibes. <laughs> yeah, I could, uh, I could really unironically see uh, Matt going off about how he's a Navy SEAL. I mean, there's some real, like, when he started doing the guitar thing, that was that was new to me. I saw that first on the stream. I hadn't seen that yet. And that was some serious, like, fucking, I have over 17 guns, different calibers, different sizes. I can kill you in every way imaginable. Death by a million cuts. It had that kind of vibe to it. Two pounds from a night elf. A good artist doesn't equal good person, a PSA. Yeah, I mean, I guess separate the art from the artist. He is a fucking fantastic composer. I can't, I can't deny that. I'd like to be able to say I don't like his music because he called me a shitty composer, which I'm pretty sure he didn't even listen to any of my music. But uh, you know, that's fine. Um, but I'd like to be able to say that. But I mean, I listened to some Tristram before the fucking stream started, and man, I, I felt a certain way. Not the least of which reasons being that's not English, but it's fine. Uh, that he's being such a fucking mong on Twitter. But yeah, I mean, he's a fantastic musician. I guess separate the art from the artist. I don't know. Um, two bucks from the international historian. Insert Navy SEAL copy pasta. Uh, exactly. Ten bucks from the trash man. Flang gang represent. That's right. Flang gang gang gang. Uh, five bucks from Joe Vinny the Hyena. He's composing a soundtrack for a game called The End of His Career. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, two bucks from the eunuch man. Gamergate caused coronavirus. I believe it. Five bucks from Gura Sola. Hi, just discovered you recently. Props for exposing all these sickos. The world needs more people out there willing to delve into this crap. Big ups. Big ups Liquid Richard as well. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, this guy's not really a sicko today, at least. Uh, and I don't really know if we want to call the snake thing sickos. Us, the, the viewers, sickos. So, I mean, so, I mean, I don't know if I want to equate them to us. But, uh, but, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I you know, I, I, I do what I do, and I, I hope some people enjoy it. Uh, maybe the word can get out about some, some people. Ten bucks from the Cat Warrior. First time to catch a, uh, first time able to catch a stream and donate. Tossing some coins to our deadline. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I, I hope you have a lovely stream. Two bucks from the Eunuch Man. You should make a song with his tweets as lyrics. I want to see you lose your skin alive. Yeah, I think that could work. I think that could work. Two euros from Woodbringer. I'll start wearing green for you, my prince. <laughs> no, please. Even the dog hated that. Oh, God. Are we effing? We're lagging? Oh, yeah. We're having, a, we're having some momentary Fs in judgment. He's not dead. Stop effing. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're okay. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everybody settle down. Everybody settle down. That just... That just means you missed my metal growl. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, don't don't wear green for me, Woodbringer. Even the dog in the movie hated that. But thank you. Uh, two bucks from Jessica Ustis. Gamer with a hard R. That's right. Say it. Say it loud and proud. Full throated gamer word. Um, five bucks from Zolverring. The overcompensation is real. These people just want your identity attached. So for the sweet attack vector. Yeah, they, like, very obviously just want to, uh, like, it's, it's amazing. It's the, not the first time I've seen this tactic before where somebody will be like, show me your name, coward, and then they'll be, like, instantly threatening to fucking tell your employers about your mean tweet or whatever, and it's like, no, you fucking mongus, you troglodyte, of course I'm not telling you my fucking name. You're a psychopath. Why the fuck would I do that? That's why I don't tell people my name that publicly on the internet. Because a lot of people are psychopaths. Um, but anyways, two bucks from the international historian. 
I have three accordions and a harmonica. Jealous. I forgot about my harmonica. I have a harmonica too, Matt. I, you might have three guitars. Well, I've got two and a keyboard and a harmonica. <laughs> Fuck you, Matt. My dick's bigger. Anyways. So, uh, <laughs> two bucks from Fuzo. His work sucks and Torchlight is trash. Well, those are some fucking opinions, Bane, but, uh, but thank you for sharing. I mean, I like the Tristram song. I like what I played of Torchlight, too. Um, but also, everybody, remember, Fuzo is interviewing fucking Mr. Gigi later on his channel. So, if Bane, if you want to drop a link to that or to your channel or whatever, you go right ahead, because I think... I think that's going to be an interesting one for people to watch. So, uh, yeah. yeah. If you guys want to see Mr. Gigi talk about some TCAP stuff and some Onision stuff, hit up Fuzo. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to Super Chats in a little bit. But for now, I am going to... Uh, I am going to get into... Oh, fuck. I didn't want to stop that. Hang on. What, what song was that again? Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna pause that there. We're gonna get back into things here. Uh, that's the that's not the thing, but uh, you know we'll go to this one. No, that not that one. Uh, there you go. And Alvin Flang, everybody. I can't believe he couldn't find me on YouTube uh, on on the game database or whatever the fuck. Alvin Flang. So, anyways, this is Randy Quaid, everybody. And uh, for somebody who apparently is very far right. Pelosi's shit idea. Guess who knew everything? Chill, Greta. Space finally recognized. To the Iranian leaders! For somebody who's apparently very far right, he's he's got a very nice rainbow uh thing going on here. I'm I'm sure I'm sure people would be happy about that. But so anyways, if you guys don't know who Randy Quaid is, he's an actor. He used to be in a lot of movies. Uh he was in a movie called Quick Change, I remember, with uh uh, was it Bill Murray? I think it was Bill Murray, where they, like, robbed a bank, and, uh, he was, he was, like, the dumb guy, and he was in, um, he was in, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, uh, as the, the, the dumb guy. He played a lot of the dumb guy, and, uh, conspiracy guy, and crazy guy, and, well, lo and fucking behold, I guess you are what you act. So, this is the Randy Quaid YouTube channel, where, uh, this is just happening, I guess. This just is happening. Deep State Partnership! Uh, Hunter Biden GMA drop really bad. Most of these aren't even fucking words. I like this 10 second one. Presidential, you know what? He's like fucking freaking in this one. He's, he's, he's mad. He's livid. Presidential harassment! Okay, everybody, thank you for coming to my stream. Uh, that was fine. I'm never going to stream again. Uh, thank you for uh, everything. Peanut, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't I don't really know what... Uh, I mean, he's raving. He vibing. He grooving. Uh, let's see if there's like a... Well, let's go to the most popular. Let's see what the most popular ones are here. He's got videos from like five years ago. Randy Quaid on the election 2016. So get a load of Randy Quaid five years ago where he still looks fucking crazy, but he also, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't it at least look like, I don't know, he, he doesn't at least look like he's some kind of fucking rave homeless uh, horror movie villain in this. So let's hear what he has to say. Hello, Hi. I am U.S. citizen Randy Quaid. Hillary Clinton, while Secretary of State, Revoke my passport, preventing me, Randy Quaid, from identifying myself as a U.S. citizen. Then, when she launched her presidential bid recently, she quoted my famous line from the film Independence Day. I'm back! <laughs> well, Hillary, I am not back. I am just another one of your Secretary of State casualties. Oh, boy. Do Americans really want an incompetent idiot for president? No, but what choice do they have? <laughs> what a good question to ask. I don't think anybody wants an incompetent idiot to, to lead their country. 
But would you just look at the state of the world? I mean, it's it's funny how that always seems to turn out that I way. I'm Randy Quaid, star of Independence Day, and Rupert Murdoch approves this message. Oh, Rupert Murdoch. Guys, he was fucking, he was in on it years ago. He was in on it years ago. All right, so, um, actor Randy Quaid's four-minute reply to Jerry Seinfeld, Evie Quaid Patches Dance. What is this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, what is, uh... Uh, no, you don't have to do that. Rain came and washed all the crops away. And at the age of 13, I thought I okay, well now, uh, there's many things happening here. What's going on with the music? Why is she naked from the waist down in this picture? There's, there's visible gunt. Chad, I don't like this. World on my shoulders. And you know, mama knew what I was going through. Cause every day I had to work the fields. Is this Randy Quaid's wife dancing to Randy Quaid's music? Is that what's happening? Family. Oh, I see the picture. What do you want me to do about the picture? Is that Jack from Red Letter Media? What is happening? All right, that's enough of this video. That's fine. That's fine. Um... <clears throat> Quaid, the making of video. Star Whackers, Randy Quaid, and the Fugitives. Trump Trumpets Reveal. The fuck is this? Is this the way America goes? From George Washington to George Soros? From oceans white with foam to a socialist swamp? From landscape mode to portrait mode like savages. Is this the way America goes? Is this really our future? Wake up, you sleeping giant. The Lilliputians have tied you down with their fantastic dreams of icebergs melting into dinosaurs and train tracks stretching across the Pacific waters. Trump trumpets reveille. And it's time to heed the call. I don't think that's how that word is. That's fine. The framers have been framed. The people disarmed. Conservative voices are silenced in the schools by anarchists left unmasked. So is this like a performance piece? Is he trying to like audition for the role of like, like, I don't know, domestic terrorist cult leader or something? Is that what's happening or... Nice spread eagle, Quaid. Yeah, I mean, he's lo he looks like he's ready for the casting couch right here. Merry Christmas is greeted cheerlessly, even condemned. Now here we go with the fucking Christmas again. I have never heard anybody fucking condemn Christmas. I, I know that's like a big thing to everybody that like if you say Merry Christmas to somebody, they'll fucking like throw a fireball spell at you or something. I don't really know what, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I've... I've said Merry Christmas to tons of people, and they just kind of... Uh, Christmas isn't really like a religious thing anymore, whether you kind of like it or not. It's it's kind of more of a consumerist holiday, so, I mean, I don't know, man. Is this how America goes to a nation of godless fanatics? Well, I mean, to be fair, Randy Quaid does currently look like one of the founders of America. Uh, so, I mean, I, I would trust what he has to say. In the shadows of big tech... And empty condos, homeless citizens fill the streets, wallowing in their own filth, while Big Pharma sedates us with opiates. The food industry poisons our insides, and business organizations kowtow to communist marching orders. Is this the way America goes? In a stupor of ignorance? In obedience to corruption and greed? So is this happening at, like, is this just him yelling at a camera, or is this happening at, like, a slam poetry MAGA convention? What, what, what? I'm, tr I'm trying to, uh, anyways, it's fine. Ring out, you... Don't think about it too closely. It's like, it's like a, it's like a Cthulhu monster. Just Bells of freedom. Drive you crazy. Sound the alarm across the land. 
Oh, glory is being ripped to shreds by fakers and phonies and bullies and liars who want to destroy our president and redefine the sovereignty of the Supreme Court, rewrite the rules. Well, my fucking mouse just disconnected for some reason, so that's cool. Hang on. <laughs> oh, fuck. A day of reckoning is nigh! Day of reckoning! Wake up! I'm gonna kill you all, Luigi! Hang on, I gotta fucking fix my- God damn it! Ah, how did this happen? There you go. There you go, baby! Alright. So, yeah, I mean, Randy Quaid on YouTube, everybody. Let's uh, get back into it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> what uh, what else do we got here? Somebody was wondering if Evie Quaid was his daughter. And no, it seems to be his wife, so at least that's that's fine. Let's go back to the, 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 the Quaid rave, everybody. Uh, Robert De Niro, a very low IQ. Robert De Niro, a very low IQ individual, has received too many shots to the head by real boxers in movies. Is this a Trump tweet? I think this is a Trump tweet. Is he just reading Trump tweets? I don't think this man, this, this guy might not be as crazy as we're thinking. This might just be some kind of weird fucking he will not divide us performance piece. Okay, yeah, he's as crazy as we're thinking. Never mind. I watched him last night, and I truly believe he may be punch drunk. I guess he doesn't realize that the economy is the best. Slam poetry, made. ASMR, and epilepsy. With employment and all. <laughs> Why am I frothing? And many company. Yeah, I guess if you have photosensitive epilepsy, you should probably look the fuck away because this guy doesn't seem to care. He's pouring back into our country wake up punchy yeah this is i remember this trump tweet i remember that so i'm gonna i'm going to assume that this is at least partially a joke so i mean i guess props to randy quaid for m making us all believe it for a little bit no collusion The rigged Russian witch hunt goes on and on as the originators and founders of this scam continue to be fired and demoted for their corrupt and illegal activity. All credibility is gone from this hoax and much more will be lost as it proceeds. This guy has some good, like, stage presence when it comes to reading this shit. Oh, collusion! This is better than a Trump tweet. Okay, well, that's Randy Quaid's fucking YouTube, I guess. That's quite something to behold. I don't know how much of it is a joke and how much of it is real, but, uh... But have I got... Hang on. We're, we're gonna move on into the next segment here, because I think that's... That's enough from Randy Quaid from now for now. I usually when I start to get the uh, the feeling that the person I'm listening to is uh is is joking or is in some way it's it's like they're they're in on it. Uh I I kind of stop being interested. So, I mean, you know, maybe he's crazy. Maybe it's a performance thing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in in your boy's head, but uh I know his wife sure is a sexy dancer. Um so let's let's look at something here. Now, oh, okay, that's the wrong, hang on, pictures, there you go. Now, can I get the whole movie? I don't think I can, oh, that sucks. That sucks. I'm sorry, chat, I was trying to find a thing. Uh, that somebody had linked to me recently, but sadly I can't find a full version of it, which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah. 
Well, I guess I'll just say it. Uh, oh, well, here. What is the name of... What is the name of the movie with the thing? Oh, fucking hell. It's, uh, it's Dingo Pictures, everybody. I'd like to look at Dingo Pictures. I don't know if I'm going to do it right now, actually. Right now! I don't know if I'm going to do it now. Because I can't actually find a full Dingo Pictures movie. But yeah, this is the Yi chat. Uh, this is the Yi people. So we're gonna. I want to look at the Yi movie. But I don't know what the fuck it's called. And I don't know what to look for. So I mean, I'll have to do some research into that. I guess we could also watch fucking Phalus. But that, that's fine. I think I'm good on that. Uh, uh, yeah. So you know, maybe maybe not this then. Let's do. Let's see what. What's one more fun? Oh, here's here's a good one. I kind of showed this off the other day on a, I think the zoo stream. Uh, very briefly, just to get to something else. This is a channel that somebody linked to me. Apparently, it's somebody that they know in their like town or something. And uh, it's this guy named Thomas Murphy, and he makes a lot of videos about. Well, hang on, let's. Thomas Murphy knows it is Easter and is disappointed that the Easter un he egg hunt is at church is canceled. Thomas Murphy would have performed, would have performed like Elton John at the wedding of Samantha and Nathan in 2015. Today is Desi Ridley's birthday and Mandy Moore's birthday. Thomas gets $34 out of $50 from lottery. So, I I don't I don't I from what I've heard this is a this is a nice lad. He's not a, he's not a bad. This is not a sex weirdo thing. This is just somebody having making some interesting videos on YouTube. And you know, let's watch a couple. Hi, it's me, Thomas, and today Hello, is uh, Sierra's mom's birthday, Elena or Lana. Uh -huh. And she's 54 years old, and I cashed in my lottery tickets, and I got 34 bucks back out of- He's a wholesome man doing his best. Don't bully. That's right. We're not- This is this is the least bully stream. We're, we've, we've, we've gone the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, this is the least bully stream part of the stream. I'm just, I'm just curious, because some of his video titles are very interesting. 50. I told you I was going to do it today. Today is also Daisy Ridley's birthday from Star Wars as Rey. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday to you. And I subscribe to your channel. And also, today is Manny Moore's birthday. I also subscribe to your channel, too. Yes. She is 36 years old, but she's married. Yes. She has her husband. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Manny Moore. Mm-hmm. 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 And I'm glad I felt lucky with you, Manny Moore. I was trying to get a hundred bucks, like if I win a hundred. Do you remember Mandy Moore? I think she was in one of the Kingdom Hearts games. Hundred bucks on a Larry Scratch ticket, but no. Mm -mm. But all I got is thirty-four bucks. It's better than like nothing on those Scratcher tickets. On Daisy Ru's birthday and Mandy Moore's birthday, April tenth. Mm -hmm, and right. it's also Good Friday, so no meat for me, and uh, it will be Easter. But Aww, see, I'll give my schedule for see, Easter. Our boy is a good boy. Good Good Friday, no meat for him. He is following the rules. He's a godly individual. Every Sunday, if I'm working or good not. Good for him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, what else am I going to say? Oh, yeah. It is springtime, yes. Everything yes. will reopen around April 30th to May 1st. Yes. Yes. Reopen. Yes. Yes. Like, I had to wear a mask because I had to cash in my Larry Scratch too, so I don't get sick. I had to wear the mask. No ifs, ands, or buts. You guys know that the masks don't actually do anything if you're not already sick. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. No exceptions. Mm-mm. 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 That is not a mm-mm, chat. That's an mm-mm. Big difference. And, yeah, uh, right. oh, yeah. And I threw the mask out, yes, since I used it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I guess we're going, so I gotta go. To work. So comment down below if that's true, yes. Yes. So I, don't, I, risk... I don't know what I'm commenting below, but... Uh, oh, okay, have a good day at work, Thomas. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I like this channel. This is a good break from the other stuff that we've been looking at. Let's see something else. Today's Leonard Nimoy's birthday, Lady Gaga's birthday. Uh, Thomas Murphy knows it is Celine Dion's birthday, and she is 52 years old and knows about the outbreak. Well, it's a good thing she knows about the outbreak, because... You no, know, sounds like she's in the she's in the the realm of of age for it. Uh, Thomas Murphy knows it is William Shatner's birthday from Star Trek. Um, so I mean, yeah, I guess if you ever want to know what a celebrity's birthday, look at this dapper individual with the bow tie. Thomas Murphy will have deep fried fish and chips for St. Patrick's Day, twenty twenty. April twenty twenty outbreak ends. Well, I mean, we can all hope. I've heard about them reopening stuff at the end of April, so I mean, I don't know. There's there's hope. Depends on where you I, live, I guess. Sorry. 
Hi, it's me, Thomas, and today is St. Patrick's Day, yes? Yes. And when I get home from work, I'm going to fix myself some deep-fried fish and chips. Don't you guys wish you had a bow tie that was as hot as this? I know I do. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. I said before, because of London 2012. Mm -hmm. And also, yes. And Next also, Thursday yes. Is my dental appointment. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. So all this. I feel like he. I feel like he's a native Japanese speaker, and he's just trying to speak English, and he keeps he keeps saying it is instead of desu. So I got the day off, and also yes. Uh, hi, hi. And thing I've seen, yes. I wish I can give a woman a hug if she wears green satin bikini panties. Oh, uh, okay. Well, this this changed really quick. Um, hey, I mean, did you see the stream from last night, Thomas Murphy? Because I got the girl for you. She wears green satin everything. It is women's underwear. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we, uh, can we, um, <laughs> remember when this was wholesome? <laughs> it is women's underwear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't say it at work, because if I did that, yes, it would be harassment what 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 are you talking about there thomas what's going on bud mm -hmm. and i don't want to do that no because mm -hmm. that's what's guys what, what what's uh what ha what hell hath wrought I, <laughs> day, St. Patrick's this day. was supposed to be a nice segment god damn it mm -hmm. 2020 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also is there anything else i want to say oh yeah Whew. Yeah, it's a I agree. Friday at my store. I mean, not Friday, but Saturday when I went to work at my store. Awful. Very awful. Awful. Mm hmm. And uh, what else am I going to say? Oh, yeah. But hey, I still get a big enough paycheck. It'll cover everything. Yes. A lot of people bought like a internal order. Like a lot of people. It's just a little sangue. I think it's the results of that. It's only a little mm -hmm. sangue. Mm hmm. And, uh, oh yeah. And Just I think a tiny bit of sangue. Canceled because of this outbreak we're having, yes. A touch of sangi and fry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, comment down below if that's true. So, I guess if we're going, so, I gotta go work. So, bye! What are we commenting below if it's true? That it's harassment and green satin panties? Okay. A lot of likes on this. No dislikes. So, I mean, I guess everybody's on board. Uh, let's watch some more, I guess. Uh, uh... Thomas Murphy knows E3 2020 is canceled due to an outbreak. Splinter Cell 7 announced? Dude, I didn't hear about that. Hi, it's me, Thomas, and today I'm just letting you know that E3 2020 is canceled, and it's a disappointment. I was hoping, like, if it was there without the outbreak that happened, then we would see Splinter Cell 7 there, and I would be very happy. But well, I mean, at least he's got good taste in video games. I mean, that's... It's a pretty good, pretty good series, uh, but, but wait, so Splinter Cell wasn't announced? So you, you just lied in the thing? Okay. I hope they announce it soon, Splinter Cell 7. Yeah. So they haven't announced it, you just said in the thing that they were announced, that, that it was announced in, in, fu oh, it's, it's, it's announced in future, so in other words, it hasn't been announced. Th thank you, Thomas, for the breaking news. But it's not yes. going to be 3 mm -hmm. 2020, since it's canceled. It's a bummer. Mm-hmm. And also, yes. And also, yes. I work at until 10.30 a.m. And also, I'm off tomorrow, so I can do the $10 bus card renewal because it will expire in 2020 May. It will expire. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you get that taken care of. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I might try the Wendy's breakfasts. Yeah. And also, yes. I'm, I'm just going to try a sausage biscuit. Mm-hmm. Huh. And the potato things. I might try the coffee, too. Cheaper than Starbucks. All right. Well, this man seems like he's having his go through through his life, and that's fine. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know if we need to. I don't know if we need to look at too much more here, unless there's. Well, you know what? Let's look at his most viewed video. Let's see what's skyrocketed him to popularity. It's Thomas Murphy. Thomas Murphy microwaves hand sanitizer because Taylor Swift. What the fuck is this title? It's me, Thomas. I'm Thomas Murphy microwaves hand sanitizer because Taylor Swift ruined Father's Day 2018. Chat. Chat. 
I, I, I'm grasping for answers. I need reason in my life right now. Well, my you know what? Hands. And also, yes. It's me, Thomas. I'm a microwave hand sanitizer because Taylor Swift ruined my Father's Day. Oh, uh, yes. So, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. And also, yes. She ruined my day. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm failing to see the... You know, it's fine. We've got two minutes on the, on the microwave. I'm sure he'll explain himself. Taylor Swift, you ruined people's days. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, her music is pretty bad. That's right. She's got a nice ass, though. Payback's a bitch. Uh, 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 does anybody know if microwaving hand sanitizer maybe turns it into, like, a blasting agent or something like that? I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> 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 Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, why are we laughing like villains? <laughs> Guys, this is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, Taylor boy. Swift? Fuck you, you piece of shit motherfucker. Taylor Swift? Fuck you. Uh... That's what you get. Is that what she gets? What, well, uh, uh... Boom! Hang on. Payback's a bitch. <laughs> so the thing's gonna explode. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> the thing's about to explode. There you go. Taylor Swift? Fuck you! Okay, so is he gonna bomb Taylor Swift? I'm worried. I, uh, uh... Fuck you! That's what you get. Yeah, fuck you, Taylor Swift! I destroyed my microwave, you whore! I'll see you at work today, 8.30 a.m. to 5. Oh, does Taylor Swift work with you, Thomas? Okay, that, that, you know, that makes... That makes no more sense, but at least it's like one logic. I don't know. It's like slightly closer. I don't so know. do not buy it. Graphically, music. maybe she's a horrible singer. And I told Star Wars Three to stop playing her music. I complained to her. Oh. So bye. Okay, so it's literally just that her music is bad and he doesn't like it. Okay, well, I mean, I can get behind that and Taylor for that matter. But uh, but yeah, I don't really know uh what uh doing that, um. Do you have a replacement microwave? Are you, uh, is that maybe, are your parents going to be mad at you? You know, it's fine. It's fine. This is a grown man. He can destroy his microwave if he likes. Uh, I don't think there's anything that could ever top a video title like Thomas Murphy microwaves hand sanitizer because Taylor Swift ruined Father's Day 2018. So, uh, I think this is the end of the channel, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate it. It's time to uh, it's time to read some super chats and stuff, and uh, and I think that'll I think that'll about do us for the stream. Let's uh, let's get the music happening again here. Uh, there you go. Good stuff. Uh, five bucks from mysterious Senor Hilter. Randy Quaid became the mask, and there's nothing but cousin Eddie now. Uh, evidently, that makes a lot of sense. Um, two bucks from Darkbreaker97. You ever wonder what Randy Quaid fucks like? I mean... I mean... Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I'm not proud to say it, but I do amount, I do think about that every night, actually. Uh, 40 rubles from Medicare's Lunicorn Archives. We was Alvin Flangs and shit! Or sorry, we was Alvin Kangs and shit! And then two bucks from Fuzo. His name was his name was Alvin Flang. His name was Alvin Flang. Two bucks from Succubus GF. P comes from the balls. Uh, five bucks from Jessica U Jessica Ustas. Ever listen to stuff by Daisuke Ishiwatari? He composed the music in Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear. It's really good. I haven't, but I know that Guilty Gear has references to like Ride the Lightning and shit. So I mean. So I'd probably like it. Uh, I, you know, I'm not really into fighting games though, so I haven't really had a chance to get into the music. But I, I, I'm sure some of it's pretty good. Ten bucks from Bumbling Beholder. Love the streams, Claw. Here's some cash for lunch or booze. Well, who's to say booze isn't lunch? Come on. Uh, but thank you. Two, uh, ten, two bucks from Zara. Just got here. What did I miss? Well, uh, everything that was of interest, really. 
Uh, five bucks from Calm BS. Thanks for the stream, Claw. Random question. Have you been watching Gino Samuel's Chris Chan series? Also, Toggle stream when? Well, we kind of already did the Toggle stream in, in, for the most part. I'm, I'm done. I'm good on zoophiles for a little bit. I don't think I need to talk about any more of them for a while. Uh, but uh, I haven't been watching the, the, the Chris Chan series. Uh, to be honest, I feel like it's just been... It, what, what's he up to now? Like part 46 or something? It's like, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, you know, Frederick Knudsen was able to talk about him in like one video and it was fine. I guess there's a lot of stuff to cover with Chris, but I don't know. It's, 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 it's I think I, that series might have a bit of Final Fantasy VII remake syndrome. One too many fetch quests in the Chris Chan series. But I've heard, I've heard nothing but good things, so maybe I should watch it. Uh, five bucks from Kyrie Golden. Oh god, fucking hell, I, god damn it. <laughs> Scroll too fast. Uh, Kyrie Golden, five bucks. Jerry Martin is a uh, jazz Chad. How dare you insinuate I forgot best boy. He is a, he is a good boy. He's a very good boy, so I, I appreciate that you're aware of him. Uh, 279 from Kayla G. Diablo 3 is Garbo. His experience is embarrassing. He didn't actually do three. He did uh, he did two, one and two, actually. So that's suck on those lemons, I guess. I, I, I didn't know about that either, but I, I found out, and yeah, I don't know. Two bucks from AJ. Have you ever watched a Meat Canyon video? Yeah. No, I've never heard of Meat Canyon. Um, two bucks from Claudia Silva. Have you seen the long Furby thing? P.S. Shots? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I think uh, Strange Aeons talked about long Furby. I, I remember that, and uh, I, I don't know. I don't know anything more about it than that. Uh, two bucks from, or five bucks from Sagittarius A Star. I found out that I'm getting internet reimbursement for my work. Here's my money, Clawfather. You don't, you don't. Listen, blow it on something stupid for yourself. Don't blow it on something stupid like me. But, but thank you. Um, five bucks from the Three Side House. Matt and Toggle are two reasons you don't use your real name online, due to their desire to dox you or call your employers if you don't agree with them. Yeah, can we acknowledge this guy, the Three Side House here? Uh, who the other day on the on the uh, the the zooier than thou stream he said that par apparently he got onto the stream with them he got onto their podcast and he was like debating them or something and uh, then when Toggle found out that he was on my in my chat and he mentioned that to me he he went on Twitter and he was like how about you wanted to be a teacher didn't you how about I tell all your prospective employers that you were on our podcast and it's like. This motherfucker wants to out somebody as a weirdo by telling his, telling prospective employers that they were on the podcast that he hosts about fucking animals. Like, that. that is a 700 IQ play. That is insane IQ levels. Yeah, so people like... To exactly right. People like Toggle and Matt are the reason why you don't put your fucking name out there so, so readily because people are fucking psychos. And we'll take things too far in the wrong direction, I guess. Two bucks from Fuzo. He was in Movie 43 also. Don't forget that. Uh, yeah, Randy Quaid. Very prolific actor. Uh, two pounds from Armored Lemming. Randy looks like a malfunctioning Xmas animatronic. <laughs> yeah, he looks like the, 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 the Santa from that. He looks like the thrusting Santa from that one Best of the Worst video that they watched. Two bucks from the Eunuch Man. I'm back! Um, two bucks from Gabby with an I. Pro skin flute player here. S to swallow. Uh, I, you know, uh, DM me later. Two bucks from Modern Day Man. My favorite mobile game is Clash of Cludes. We're gonna turn this square clude into a triangle clude. Clude. Uh, two bucks from Jessica Ustas. Ask Catacurus. He made some funny vids on Dingo Picks. Yeah, I think a few people have, actually. I'm sure if I looked, I could probably find, uh, probably find a link to that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, at, at close, uh, I, I don't really want to watch another movie or anything too quickly anyways. Because we did just watch Love on a Leash last night, and that was truly something spectacular for the ages. Uh, two bucks from the Eunuch Man. Oh no, it was so wholesome! No! <laughs> yeah, I think that's how everybody felt in that in that situation. Two bucks from Gabby with an I. When Yoda is your English teacher. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. And also, yes. Two dollars from Corey Malone. I fell asleep. Who is this? Reminds me of Milton. Uh, just, just an individual. Mostly wholesome. Mostly not a, a sex weirdo. Uh, mostly. 
But, uh, you know, just an individual. 40 rubles from some name I can't fucking read. Uh, but it says, mm-hmm, and also, yes, thanks for the stream, heart emoji. Th oh, thank you for watching the stream. And uh, you might want to switch to not Cyrillic. Uh, for, for, I mean, just, just, you know, just, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I, I just, I can't read that. So it's, that's the problem for me, but it's okay. Um, let me see. Gabby with an I. <laughs> I hate Yankees. Have you ever heard, uh, five bucks from I hate Yankees. Have you ever heard of Elvis Ammo? He's another one of these wholesome, awkward channels that might make a good palate cleanser for sex weirdo streams. Elvis Ammo, huh? I've, I've not heard of that. Sound, it reminds me of Elvis the Alien, but it's probably very different. Elvis Ammo. Oh, it's like a bullet channel? Powder coating bullets? Well, I don't know what that's all about, but it sounds interesting. I'll, I'll add that to the list. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, yeah, I think that will do us for the stream. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Don't go harassing the dude on Twitter or anything. I think he's probably learned his lesson when he started fucking deleting all of his tweets. Well, no, he probably didn't learn his lesson, but I mean, Jesus Christ, what a fucking clown. Uh, if, 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 if Probably somebody close to him who he trusts said, listen, Matt, you're being a dumbass. Uh, and he, he, he took their advice. So, I mean, at least there's that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, rest in peace, Diablo soundtrack. I'm never going to be okay with that ever again. It's too bad. It was pretty good. But um, yeah, saw some Randy Quaid. Saw some... Twitter weirdo. Remember, guys, he has three guitars. Um, yeah, that'll about do us for the stream once again. I'm going to actually end us on a different song here. Because I'm playing some more Guilt Machine there. But, very important. Very important. Uh, take it easy, folks. Penis. Be lost, drifting alone, floating up high, time after time, and there you'd be, shining brightly, your smiling face to God. Thank you.